Why are you not in the fence? Huh? What are you doing? Come on. You're gonna get eaten. Come on. Everybody else is in the fence. You tell him, Bernard. Come on. Get in there. Bianca, back off. You gonna come attack me again, Bernard? You stay in here, okay? Please. Hey, now! You behave. Don't even think about it. Get out of here. Go. Come on. Get out of here. Go. Yeah, they're steel toes. I can do this all day. All day, all day. So, I first of all have to apologize for my rather homeless look that I've got going on here. Uh, I was not at all planning on making a video today, I really wasn't planning on working on the sled at all, but I came out here uh, this morning to work on this project quad that I picked up on the cheap from a family member, and for the life of me I cannot get my last tire to mount on the rim because I bought it offline, just like everything else of course and it was shipped all sucked in, so now I've got it expanded with a bunch of wood and two by fours that uh, hopefully will allow me to get the beads set on the rim. So we're gonna leave the project quad for another day and I'm gonna take a look at the F1100 because uh, Jason pointed out the last time we were here working on the uh, big fin clutch, installing that, uh, he pointed out that my steering is a bit loose. And it's always been a bit loose uh, ever since I got the sled. I mean, it's got almost 10,000 miles on it, but to me, this seems like maybe something I should uh, should at least look into. <laughs> Alrighty, so this comes down here. Looks like there's a bushing there that isn't exactly the tightest, but I don't think that's where our slop's coming from. Our slop. I think it's down here somewhere. Let me grab a light so we can see what we're doing. of that window. Look at that. I can water my chickens from the comfort of my basement. And yes, that bowl is hooked up to a Wi-Fi enabled outlet. Yeah, this is my tire. <laughs> I don't know how good this is for it, but Hopefully it'll go on the rim this time. So it seems like the linkage itself moves a little bit, but the majority of the slop is actually just I think where that shaft Two, I guess. Oh, the piece that it's attached to is loose. Mm, the plot thickens. 
Good news, everyone! So there's actually a little secret access hatch here that is cut right into the chassis and that uh, rubber flap deal here actually uh, can kind of be pushed or pulled to the side and I can, uh, I can get a wrench right up in there and I think that I'm actually on the bolt. It's a little hard to tell. Uh, I've got a 15 on there and I feel like I've actually been doing some tightening. However, that piece hasn't moved at all on the other side here that I thought I was going to have to grab, so I'm not really sure what's up with that, but I guess I've got it to the point where I would say it's kind of tight. So I guess i give the bars a wiggle here. It doesn't seem like that piece is moving anymore, so I guess that's a, a step in the right direction anyways. I'm ripping my rubber liner here. Oops. Oh well, that's okay. It's fine. So yeah, that was just stuck up in there. What did I have on here? 15 millimeter, so seems like that worked. While there is still a bit of play there, uh, to be honest, it's not really anything that I think I need to worry about. So I've actually got to apologize to you guys. Uh, I did something to the sled that I probably should have recorded um, the other day when Jason was over here and we were putting the new secondary clutch on here. After it was all finished up, I noticed that I had a broken mount for my sway bar link. And I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna weld this up. He was still working on his secondary that he had brought over. And uh, I just cleaned it up, got the welder out here, and welded it all up, and seems like that went pretty darn well. Hopefully that'll hold. I didn't even know that this had broken last year, but apparently at some point it had. Apparently I need some more paint on here too. I don't know what I sprayed on here, but it looks like it all ran off. Get it together, camera. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. But I do apologize a lot of times when I get to doing stuff like that. I just don't really think that'll make for much of a good video. I think some people are interested in seeing that sort of stuff. If you guys are, let me know down in the comment box below. So if you guys thought this video was helpful to you or if you enjoyed it, I'll make sure and give it a like. That really helps me out. If you guys want to see more videos where hopefully I'm riding the sled actually, uh, then make sure you click this subscribe button here off to the right if you guys have any comments or questions. Or off to the left. Is it off to your left? My right. Your left. I don't know. It'll be right here. Uh, click that Swanky Cat logo that'll subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell after you're subscribed so little, you know every time I put a video out. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe and stay swanky. Did you click on anything yet? I know you didn't if you're still hearing this. You click on something. <laughs>